Having just finished Jeanette McCurdy's brand new memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died, I listened to this on Audible and I had to get straight on camera to talk about this book, which is going to basically be as less spoilers as I can give. So what was my overall thought on this? I've got a lot to say, so let's get into it. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this video. If you're brand new here, my name is Mike, my channel's called Did You See That? And I would really appreciate it if you press the red subscribe button as I'd love to see you again on a future video. So as soon as I heard about Jeanette McCurdy's book, I'm glad my mom died, I had to read this book. Now I am a fan of Jeanette McCurdy's and I do like her previous work in iCarly. Not so much in Sam and Cat, not to say that she wasn't great or anything like that, she was, but the, the show just wasn't as well polished as, say, iCarly was, for example. But I am a fan of some of her other previous appearances, like Malcolm in the Middle, as she's done in the past, and a couple of other projects that I've seen her in. But this biography, I always love when I can learn a lot more about an artist or someone who has a craft and really kind of get into the nitty gritty of that craft and learn a bit more about their backstory, kind of what they've been through and where they are at this current time. So this book immediately grasped my attention. And what can I honestly say about this? Well, the runtime on Audible is around six hours and 50 minutes in total. So it's a pretty long book, but I will say it is so well written. It's heartbreaking. It's a tear jerker. There's moments where you're laughing and wow, this book packs a lot of punch. Let me put it that way. I felt so many emotions throughout reading and listening to Jeanette McCurdy's story all the way back from her childhood up until near enough present. The journey that this strong woman has gone through is truly riveting, but also eye-opening at the same time. Wow. I was really upset actually listening to this. Yeah, there might be times where I had a smile on my face hearing about the awesome relationship that Jeanette has with Miranda Cosgrove, for example, who also I'm a big fan of. But even just like little moments like that, all the moments where she's telling you about she actually feels like genuine happiness. I was like, wow, good for you. You know, I wish we could have had more of those moments in here and heard about a lot more of those. But the sad reality is that there's a lot of heartbreaking stuff that is in this book. Even when it's starting out from Jeanette's story of being six years old and being forced into acting by her mother, who at the time, she didn't really have a goal of being an actress or anything like that. She was forced into this, but also deal with that difficult relationship with her mom. Now, I've certainly got some thoughts about that, but I'm not gonna dive that into this review. I'm gonna just be as spoiler-less as possible. But just the story on that side alone is, it's, it's crazy. It really, really is. A lot goes into it, but also a lot behind the scenes and stuff that happens that you would never think that would happen, but they have, and it's just such a sad reality to it. But then you've got like kind of the latter half of Jeanette's career and as that is growing in the popularity, and a lot of people, I guess like selfishness as such, going up into the street, not being like, oh, hi, Jeanette, you know, big fan of your work. Can I get a photo? It's more like, oh, Sam, can I get a photo? Or Sam, are you going to throw this chicken or this sock or whatever the case should be? And I get that people like, you know, works of actors and actresses on TV, for sure. But also at the same time, you know, it is acting. That That's the whole point. Jeanette McCurdy played that role of Sam. That doesn't define her as a person. Yeah, that might have been the first role you may have seen her as. And you know, that's fair enough to maybe go, hey, Jeanette, you know, I loved your role as Sam. And it maybe encouraged me to do X, Y, and Z because a lot of these TV shows and movies by actors and actresses inspire you maybe in a better way or maybe to build a family relationship dynamic, whatever the case should be. There's, there's so many different things. But, you know, it's just the kind of the case of, you know, Jeanette through her life so far, I believe she was born in 1992. It's just absolutely crazy, the life that she has truly had. And this holds no boundaries whatsoever. This goes all forward in this book. There's nothing held back. We learn everything about 
from being a child star. And also, there's someone in this book that Jeanette refers to as the creator. Now, I think if anyone reads this book, we know exactly who that person is. And they had a big role at Nickelodeon and produced several TV shows, especially back in the day of Nickelodeon. So I think straight away, you'll know who it is. Now, they have had allegations against them and Nickelodeon and it's part of ways in 2018. So I believe it's that person. If I'm wrong, I'll hold my hands up and I apologize if it isn't. But that's what I gathered from this. But the creator, yeah, I haven't got nice words to say about that person at all. So I'm not going to say that here. But even just stories about this and one instance, for example, the creator says to Jeanette at one point, you know, you should consider yourself lucky being made a role of like a movie because or a TV show because I can give that to kind of anyone. So it's kind of like a bit of a backhanded compliment, which she goes through so many emotions, whether it is kind of a broken family dynamic to an extent or whether it is the case of kind of finding her own feet and then later on in life kind of to stop herself being referred to as just this child actress and what she was known for. Because the thing is, that was in the past and that's her childhood as such. Fair enough. You know, that's maybe what kind of made her a name as such at that time. Yeah, for sure. But since then, she's her own person. And Jeanette, since all of this, has actually been on tours. She's written and directed movies and short features and stuff like that. So, you know, bravo to her. And really, I can only commend her for her strong willpower and everything that this woman has been through and how she is really capitalizing on everything that she's been through to become a better person to become a stronger person to have some sense of individuality and i can honestly really just truly respect that and i will also say that i'm really glad that i listened slash read this book because my eyes have truly been opened to a lot of what kind of goes on sometimes with some of these child stars and we don't see it as such because we just think oh, well, they've disappeared. Where have they gone to? And now we maybe don't think about it ever again. But underlying, there's a sad reality here, especially with Jeanette. At one point, also suffers from alcoholism. There's bulimia, anorexia. So there's a lot of real world stuff that not even just celebs go through, but general day-to-day -day people do as well. And I think there's a lot in this book to take away where a lot of people can really relate with what is being talked about also some of their maybe personal experiences and also maybe find some guidance and stuff that Jeanette goes through to maybe help themselves, you know, power through whatever they're struggling with and hopefully overcome that. And I will just say that I was nearly in tears by the end of this book. It's really just hard hitting, emotional, gut punching book that is really big eye opener. It really truly is. And I'm going to end this and just say that Jeanette McCurdy deserves a lot more recognition that she's deserved and a lot more respect put on her name so i'm going to be honest with you this book utterly flawless in terms of it's just a fantastic read or listen it's riveting it's engaging it has some really nice heartfelt moments it has times where you are going to be literally heartbroken so get the tissues ready but also just such an insightful read about what goes on behind the scenes and closed doors that you may not normally hear. So I can only commend Jeanette on her bravery to put this out into the world. So my overall score for Jeanette McCurdy's memoir, I'm glad my mom died, is a 10 out of 10. So if you've enjoyed this book review and you're going to check it out for yourself or if you have read it, leave any and all comments down below so we can continue the discussion down there. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. But until the next time that I see you on this channel, I'll be seeing you later.